To better understand VizRT's virtual set tools, we will go through each component of the Viz Virtual Studio software. The core components are Viz Engine, Tracking Hub, and the Studio Manager. Studio Manager is a visual representation of the studio. You always have parts which should be hidden. And if you pan the camera to the left and to the right, and you would see a, a light or a, a camera rig, you don't want to see that. So we have a 3D model, a mask, which is called the Cosyc, which masks out all parts of the studio which should not be visible. When you do the uh, modeling in your 3D application, you have the boundaries of your physical set, and then it's way easier for yourself uh, to adjust uh, the areas um, where you have to walk, where you have to put screens and uh, your elements in there. Uh, you do the same afterwards inside uh, the Viz Artist, and then you just match it up with the uh, real uh, meshes. The tracking hub is a central collection point and redistribution point for tracking data, which is the movement data coming from cameras. It receives the raw data from tracking systems and converts it into meaningful information for Viz Engine. In the tracking hub, all the position data of all tracking systems are collected and then attached to geometries. So you can mix any tracking system in the studio together. You can use zoom focus from one system and use the position data from another one. That's absolutely possible now. Viz Engine is VizRT's rendering engine. It combines all of the components of the virtual set and renders out the final composited video as an SDI or IP signal. If you look at our standard pipeline where we do everything inside the Viz Engine, including chroma keying, there are quite a few steps that we have to uh, do before we get to the final composition. We capture the video, we process the video, apply chroma keying to it. Then we uh, uh, collect the tracking data from the tracking devices, cook it up in a, in a way that this can understand. We render the according frames, we composite everything together, and then we play it out in the end. When we configure a virtual set for a client, the first thing is we ask what he wants to have. How many cameras does he want to do near shots, far shots? This defines the tracking system we want to use. If all this is known, we can start planning the set. 